Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 dark comedy action horror, I suppose, Schools Out Forever, a film that is directed by Oliver Milburn and it stars Liam Lau Fernandez. Uh, we have Oscar Kennedy, Anthony Head, Alex McQueen, Samantha Bond and Jasmine Blackborough. Now this film focuses on um, a school essentially. Um, there is an apocalyptic event, there is a pandemic that takes place, I know, um, wipes out most of the population and this is in the UK. Um, and there is a young student called Lee Keegan who has been recently expelled from uh, a well-to-do school in the English countryside. Um, and he is ordered by his mother who is in the military to make his way back to the school once the pandemic hits um, as society has gone uh, to crap basically. Um, so he, he she tells him to head back to this school um, and he will probably be kept safe there. He goes back to the school um, and it is basically all hands on deck to try and survive, to try and find food, supplies, <laughs> There is a local militia group, I suppose, that is taking control of the area and the leader of their group, her daughter, has made their way into that school and is being held prisoner. And she wants her daughter back and it is up to these students to defend their school um, or risk losing everything. Now, so that, that's, that's essentially what the story is about here with Schools Out Forever. Now this film is a bit of an odd film to describe. It tries to blend a few different genres and that's always problematic no matter what film that, uh, is being put out there. This film, like I said, it, it, it tries to be a very much a dark comedy. There is elements of action in here, there's elements of science fiction I guess with the pandemic stuff and there's elements of horror too. Um, this, I would like to say, is successful in blending these genres, but I don't believe it is. I think it's this film suffers greatly from an identity crisis. It doesn't really know what it wants to be and it doesn't settle or put its hat on one genre. Um, and it, it doesn't delve enough deep enough into any of them to really feel comfortable in any of these genres. Now the the comedy here is mostly it's very very subtle and I feel it doesn't suit the film in regards to the tone of the film especially later on in the film it gets quite dis not distasteful that's the wrong word but it gets quite dark and serious uh, and heavy um, and the, the attempts at humour that came before it feel very much out of place and it is very subtle anyway the humour very very much a dark comedy here when they do um, delve into that the horror here is more about the circumstance that they're in and what they have to do to survive and it raises many moral questions what would you do in this situation to survive all this kind of stuff um, and the, the action is like you know uh, when there is um, everybody going at this school later on it's like all hands on deck trying to survive and all this kind of stuff so it, it, it does all these things and they're all passable in regards to what it's trying to do in regards to the film but I feel it it, it, it fails really to, to leave any lasting impact on any of them it's it's a strange film as well in many ways I, I thought that the opening act was very very strong um, and I was really really up for the film after the first act I thought it did a really good job of setting up the film and then after that the second act it, it all falls off a cliff in regards to pacing um, and interest and I was genuinely getting bored and it only really picks up again when Samantha Bond who's like running this like local militia group if you like turns up at the school gates and demands her daughter back and then it starts picking up again um, and a major problem with this film is you have nobody really to root for um, and I, I guess the question it's giving you here or the moral dilemma it's giving you here is 
there is no good and bad in these scenarios it's just gray area you know there's no good people there's no bad people it's just gray um you can understand it from samantha bond's point of view and her militia she wants just wants a daughter back and you can understand it from those within the school not wanting to let them in because they're fearful of what they might do once they get in there you can see both sides of the story um, but there's nobody really to root for they give you this character lee keegan um who you get the impression he's got some standards and morals but for far too long in the film he doesn't stand up for what's right um, and he just kind of blends into the background and he just doesn't feel a strong enough character he doesn't feel um you can like i say you can you can lean on him as a character in regards to being like the the moral light in the film um so there's nobody here to root for they're all pretty dark characters bar barring a couple there's like a nurse in the school that's always trying to do the right thing um and like i say there's there's one or two others i mean it, I, I would have hoped it would have been braver in some of the decisions it took with some of the characters it, it could have flipped the film on its head a couple of times and it didn't choose to do it so it becomes a little bit by the numbers and a little bit generic too by the end so ultimately I, I i was a little bit disappointed with this film but it is certainly watchable and it, it it's almost like um a combination of um 28 days later um with uh, crossed with the stand or something like that and or taps remember the old tom cruise film from the early 80s and sean penn film like combination of those things put into one movie and it it does work on some level but it doesn't on others as well and when if you watch the film i think you'll understand what i mean so i will give this one a six out of ten it's um just it, it's above average it's certainly watchable um but it is it could i think it could have been far far better too as well so that is my review for schools out forever i hope you liked it thank you very much for watching and of course i will be back with more content on screen stars very, very soon.